Oh, that guys, it's Tara Vitesse. Here to do a reading for you. I forgot to do my um, clarifying deck. So I just got back from a date that I didn't know was a date. Jeez. <laughs> oh, when somebody says, hey, do you want to go out and do something? I'm like, yeah. That doesn't, that's not a date. And I had no idea that's what happened. <laughs> and of course, three times on this date, he's like, date, 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 date. I'm like, oh my goodness, no, but I can't hurt his feelings. I never gave him the impression it was a date. I'll see. But one good thing that happened is I got this necklace um, oh, from a store. It's a star. And it was based off the star card um, from Tarot, of course. I'm really excited about it. We don't need any love cards yet. Get out of here. So, um, yeah. And he's like, uh, what did he say? I saw your eyes from the parking lot and I was like, really? My eyes? Are you kidding me? He wasn't trying to be rude. I think he just didn't know what to say. <laughs> Cause he's not that way is, yeah. It's hard to explain. All right, so let's get a, let's get a, a spread out for you. Okay, Page of Cups reversed. Oh, this is haunting some groups. Uh, in what, March? Page of Cups reversed. Okay, let's we'll see what else comes out. Just depends on what it's with. No card as an island. So yes, I got introduced to people <laughs> that it was pre-arranged to meet me as if it was a date and I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, it looks a little better. Six of Pentacles with something stuck behind it. Did not want to come out. Death Reverse. We have our first card, Scorpios. Let's just get all this out here. Okay, then we have da -da -da -da, Wheel of Fortune, which also points to Scorpios because we have a little thing there. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm just, I mean, haven't been, never was, attracted. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Okay, now we have Aries, the Emperor. Okay. So, so far we have Scorpios and Aries, but it can be for any sign. Okay. I'm like, I'm not attracted to people. I gotta tell you, when you meet your twin flame, I don't know, I guess that's just my experience. Like, I am completely ruined for other men. <laughs> I try to be attracted to other people. I can't, so I just kind of gave up. <laughs> I tried really hard, though. Okay. Oh, that so sucks. Like, I had to be the bearer of bad news. Like, look, dude. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Okay. So these two are puzzling me. That's why I was shuffling. I'm thinking. Somebody's being very generous, and it's like somebody else is rejecting this. Okay. We have the death card in reverse. So this could be trying to revive something, or it's dealing with your past or baggage. Somebody's fearing some change. Definitely fearing change. Uh, 
there's something here about excitement and boredom. So you have excitement, boredom, like tantrums even. There's like really difficult communication, possibly with a water sign. But there is a fear of change. And like here it is. It doesn't matter how much you want to hold on to it. Death is going to have to turn upright because the Wheel of Fortune is here. It may have to be something that's unexpected. Or it may just be progress. And then we have the Emperor. And I feel like, again, I have charity with the Six of Pentacles. It's a little confusing for me. Like a, a silent charity. Why is there a silent charity? I hope this makes sense to you guys. Because sometimes it doesn't make sense to me, but it makes sense to other people. So I'll just say what I see and go from there. I have a very mature male, most likely, competitive, assertive, a leader. They, they know something. I need to clarify. Why is this page of cups reversed here? Okay, um, oops, so we have justice in reverse. So somebody may be too attached, like they're like an energy vampire. They need a ton of love. Oh yeah, they need a ton of attention. Okay, so that's what this generousness is about. Somebody needs a lot of attention. It looks like it's been going on. Maybe somebody from the past. Just to clarify this, it's pentacles anyway, even though it's going on. Okay, that would make sense. Now we have Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Somebody's trying to hang on to something from the past. They need a lot of attention. So it looks like you think this or you are this. Just somebody needs a lot of attention. And they're not able to move on for whatever reason. Could be a Libra, a Scorpio, Aries. Could be involving you guys. Even though justice is reversed, it could be something to do with justice. Somebody feels like they didn't get justice and they want attention for justice, whatever that is. Six of Pentacles buffers any of the the damage that could be done by a six of I mean by a justice in reverse. So the situation will get resolved in whoever's favor it needs to be resolved into. Okay. Doesn't seem like it, but it will eventually, because then the Wheel of Fortune is upright. It's always a good thing to me. Now see, there's a need for some rationality. Oh yeah. Now we have strength or Leo in reverse. There's a lack of control. Definitely have control things going on here. Power, control, um, rationality, practicality. Somebody just is very, very expressive. They need a lot of love and attention. And somebody needs to set up some strong boundaries. That's what I get with justice here. I've got three major arcana in reverse. Could be that there's there's something that was unexpected, unexpected turn of events. So you've had two. You had one in the past, or you recently had one, and you'll have one in the future. But there was unexpected turn of events that had more cons than pros. 
And I feel like there's some depression going on. Somebody needed a lot of attention. And then, I'm not trying to like, repeat myself, but one person took it personally. And then whenever the other person kind of said, look, you just, you're zapping my energy. <laughs> one person took it personally and the other person was like, oh, oh my goodness. They're just intolerant of this person's over emotionality or neediness. And so they're not feeling very tender. If this is something from the past, they're not wanting to make up because they're feeling like just just like clinging to them. Okay. okay. Let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Oop, that looked good. No, it didn't. <laughs> Two of Cups in reverse. <laughs> it could be good. Okay. And I say that because even though Two of Cups... Is, a, is not coming together, okay? So if you wanted to reunite with somebody from your past, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen because somebody's just too clingy. Um, but I do get this idea, because the emperor's in here, this person's going to realize, ooh, especially with the strength in here, oof, and death, ooh, and six of pentacles, yes, ooh, okay. Um, this person's very set in their ways. This emperor person, the the leader, the one that's in control and whatnot. But they have a an undeniable attraction to you. You are this emperor's type. Okay, it doesn't have to be an Aries; just has to be an emperor type person. Definitely their type. This says things are still positive, so be positive. Uh, less clingy. This could have been um, maybe you were friends and the friendship ended. Um, or you offered friendship for some reason and it wasn't happening. This person may say, hey, I don't want to be friends. <laughs> um, so this talks about forgiving and forgetting and starting fresh. And this is... For the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, how much more starting over and starting fresh can you get? That's a good thing. Magician reverse, clarifying the emperor. This person may not feel like they could control the situation, even though they're the emperor. Or they're manipulating the situation. But the emperor is not a tyrant. He's not in reverse here. It could be this person is manipulating logic or reason. But they're manipulating it in a good way because the emperor's upright. So they're trying to let the person see things in a reasonable or practical way as opposed to overly clingy, needy, emotional. They're trying to manipulate the, situa the situation in that way. So it's technically not bad. It's just guidance. <laughs> it's order, practicality, um, motivation through calm rationale and order okay okay bottom of the deck queen of swords reversed eek we have overly emotional that's definitely the problem here it could be a very unhappy or lonely divorced woman um, who is the overly emotional one somebody who's not independent at all they're very codependent i'm seeing lots of codependency here that's an issue. So just, okay. Ah, Four of Wands. That came out in the last, um, last card in the last reading, actually. Four of Wands is always good. It talks about getting on harmony with someone by focusing on the positive. And then we have more excitement, more good news. And then we have joy and stability. So this whole clinginess over emotional, if that is dealt with, you get four of wands. 
you get free from oppression, you get um, a breakthrough is what I'm getting. You get a breakthrough that makes you happy. It's a good surprise and it's a surprise you would never have predicted. You would have never expected it. Okay. Okay, let's get something from the Romance Angel Oracle deck. Too many. Okay, so you gotta get out of this dependency. You gotta free yourself. Time to take back control of your life. Oh shit, okay. Religious factors and attraction are also in reverse. So if your love life is probably not influenced by your upbringing or your religious or spiritual path, or it is negatively affected by it. Okay, you're not attracting romantic love because you're not enjoying this moment fully. So enjoy the moment fully. Okay, bottom of the deck. Soulmate in reverse. So perhaps this person is not a soulmate or it's more like a karmic connection. Okay. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. I think that's all I need for now. All right, guys. Good luck. <laughs>